you want to think about how would a person search for your product on Amazon, right? And think of the phrases that you would put in right here, okay? You can start off with between five to 10 long tail keywords right here, okay? Um, what I like to do is I like to use Helium 10 and I'm just like, okay, cool, let me see. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to run a manual phrase ad, okay? So what we're going, it's, it's the research ad, whatever you wanna call it, research ad, you wanna call it, I don't know, the fishing ad or whatever you wanna call it. So this is like, this finds the, the long, long, long tail keywords, right? And it basically, like I have so much success with this one right here. And this is amazing because you, you'll get sales like with a cost of like 2%, 1%, 3%. So, but the thing is, it's just like, you have to know, put it this way. You have to know what your customers are searching for in your niche, right? And that's so important because that's, I'm telling you, that's how you'll get the 5%, the 6%, 7% a cost. Okay. And all I'm asking you guys is just make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and share it with somebody that, that doesn't like know nothing about Amazon advertising. Share it with them, you know? And I'm curious to see if this technique works for you guys because leave a comment down below and see like what's the ACOS that you guys got, right? Okay, be really straight up forward. Sometimes it's not gonna always work, right? Because maybe your design or your keywords, they're not, they suck in your listing, okay? So you have to understand like, if you're gonna be doing this and spending money, you have to make sure that your keywords in your listing are very like, optimize in the correct way of doing it okay this is so important because it's just it's going to help you rank more organically okay the keywords on the listing are the first things first before you run any type of amazon advertising so sponsor products click continue all right and uh it's creating a campaign same thing what i like to do here is the niche and then the asin okay this helps you keep track of it now we're using this monkey over here so the monkey niche so this is an example, the monkey right here. Okay. And then we're going to come down and come down and copy that little Asian right there. And there's a few ways you can get the Asian too as well. You can get it up here in the URL. Okay. Um, so we're going to do monkey, monkey, and whatever you want to name this too, by the way. Okay. So this is your research campaign. You can put research, right? Research or phrase or whatever, whatever the heck you want to put right here. Okay. $2 bid, $2 bid. And then uh, manual targeting, okay? Manual targeting. Um, it all depends what you want to do right here, but down only, okay? Um, bids up and down, you're gonna, you're gonna see, and I kind of go into de de detail about this in the uh, the previous video, which I'll link right up here, okay? Um, I talk about um, an auto, um, how to run your run or auto campaign ad, and then like how aggressive you want to be and stuff like that, and break all that down. For this example, we're gonna do down only, okay? Um, I leave this right here as is, come down here, products add this bad boy now we come down boom boom keyword targeting here okay click this one um and then suggested now it's basically because this one is it has some reviews and it's been ranking and it's making sales if we come over here you can see it has a, this is a consistent seller and now um this applies to pretty much if you have a consistent seller or if you're just barely running into it right it's going to tell you information that in the back end it's like what's the ranking for already right now we're gonna suggest a bid. So here, before I get into that, we're gonna go to default. Um, start at 20 cents, okay? Um, it's telling you suggest a bid, what you should do right here. It's up to you if you guys wanna do it that way, you can do it that way. Uh, what I always recommend is to start low and then kind of just work your way up. Uh, but as you start to get better and better at this, you know, you can be a little bit more aggressive, right? But for this example, we're gonna start as a beginner and kind of give you a better understanding. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna filter by right here, okay? We're gonna take off broad, exact, and then just leave the phrase checked right here, okay? And it's gonna tell you right here, okay? Uh -huh. It says phrase contains the exact phrase or a sequel of keywords. Okay, now broad contains all the keywords in any order, includes plurals, variations, and related keywords. All right, so basically what a phrase ad is going to do, so for example, let's use this long tail keyword right here, monkey shirt boy. So when someone comes in, let me show that. Let me pull up that little hand. Let's actually, you know what? Let's use that Amazon search bowl right over here. Let's go over here to Amazon.com. So when someone types in monkey boy shirt, let's say they type in XL after, right? So when they type in XL right after, okay, your shirt will pop up. Okay, now let's say they type in small, you know, your shirt will pop up, okay, for that saying. Now, but let's say if they type it in before that, right? Okay, with the phrase. It's basically adding, so if they, as long as they have this exact phrase that you're kind of trying to go after, if they type in 
another keyword in front of it or behind it, your product's going to show up. Okay, so this is what I mean by the long, long, long tail keyword, right? Because this is this is powerful. And this is how you convert for those, like, you know, your CPC is very low and you convert, at like, you know, at two cents or three cents or four cents or five cents. And I want you guys to understand how powerful that is, okay? Because you can literally convert and then once you start converting and then next thing you know it, you start converting over and over and over, you start converting for the main, the big keyword phrase, right? And monkey shirt. So that's basically what it is. And, and it kind of explains it a little bit more. If you guys want to go into more detail um, and, and learn about it, you just kind of just, you just all about testing, right? Um, the cool thing about this is kind of, it shows you already, it shows you like, you know, what, what keywords phrases that it's popping up for. Okay. Um, you can do that, or you can come over here to enter a list and then you can start entering a list of keywords. Let's say it's a new product and you don't know nothing, but you, let's say you don't know, know nothing about none of the keywords and stuff like that. What I recommend you do, you can literally just go into that niche and take like the top selling shirt, right? And this is going to be, this is big right here because this is a gold mine and you can come over here and basically, so let's say the monkey shirt, okay, you created a monkey shirt. Um, you're going to grab the ASIN and then you're going to come over here to like Celebro. Now, if you don't have to use Helium 10, you can you come over here and use the search bar and it kind of, you see how it just tells you a ton of information right here. Okay. Um, you want to think about how would a person search for your product on Amazon, right? And think of the phrases that you would put in right here. Okay. You can start off with between five to 10 long tail keywords right here. Okay. And it's very, very simple. Um, what I like to do is I like to use Helium 10 and I'm just like, okay, cool. Let me see. Let me see what targeted keywords that I can grab and I'll just grab them and throw them over here. And you can do the same exact thing. You don't have to use Helium 10, by the way, you can use the search bar right here. Okay. And I will grab, start grabbing long tail keywords here. Right. And we'll do, we'll do a, a few of them. We'll do, we'll do a few of them. And then you start to type in stuff too. It's going to actually like, you know, pop up some auto stuff in here too. And you can grab some of these. Okay. Uh, but I would grab a list of keywords from from either amazon.com or you can use helium 10 or you can use whatever keyword tool you that you want to use that you feel comfortable with and just make sure there's a search volume and you can see like and if you really want to go more in depth you can just check the competing products you know and then try to put some of those keywords in there too but i recommend you kind of you, you test this out a little bit yourself and try to go for like the you know the ones that have a, a consistent search volume right you can see monkey shirt has like consistent search volume right so people are searching for this this, this keyword phrase every single month, right? Okay. What does that mean? If you start to rank for this, you're going to be ranking pretty high up there. As you can see with this monkey dabbing shirt, you're just ranking up there pretty high and it's making consistent sales, right? So that's what we want. So we got a good, what the heck do we got? We got a good five keywords here. Okay. And all you're going to do is sell your default bid. So you just want to do, we did it at 20, just add keywords. Okay. And boom. Okay. Now I was going to say this is just a bit here. It's up to you if you want to do it, if you want to go that high, um, but Amazon will love to, love to spend all of your money and all of your budget, right? And um, I, I, I recommend you just start off real slow and get your way in there. Um, even start, you'll get, you'll get clicks, okay? You will get, you will get clicks, okay? 30 cents, 25 cents, 40 cents, you will get clicks. Um, if you do not start to get impressions, start to increase the bid slowly but surely. Okay. Um, after we're done with all this, you also do the negative targeting. You can put some, if you know, you, well, you, you did this already. No, there's no need to do that. Um, if you know that there's certain long tail keywords that you're not trying to grab and it's, it will hurt your, 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 um, your ad. Okay. Put some in there and then launch campaign, launch campaign. Your ad is going to be live. Okay. Yeah. That's it right there for that. 